Let's have a next gen sim conversation. And in this case, we are going to do it in the context of working with CrowdStrike logs. It's a popular EDR solution. And with QReader, Let's say in this particular case, I'm going to use my on prem. It could be QRock or it could be, you know, uh, an instance of the Curator, let's call it classic. The Curator that we know and love and does such a good job with detection. Well, the, the obvious answer without having the conversation on the context of next gen would be send me all the logs from CrowdStrike into Curator. Well, is it said to be done? because CrowdStrike is very verbose and I don't want to have my EPSs on the curator as I go to the roof. And also I will probably be incurring some egress charges because every time that you move uh, logs, CrowdStrike is a uh, cloud solution. When you get logs out, uh, then every one of those uh, network vendors will ping you for, the, for those, right? So we're going to see that we're going to leave the CrowdStrike on the cloud doing his telemetry thing, doing his job that he does so well leave it there. Same thing with the curator. Now, what we have in here is the next gen. It also goes by the name uh, UAX. And what we are going to be showing, and I recorded this in my, in my own uh, system, is curator detecting a phishing email there, there are multiple indicators. There are, you know, IP addresses of known fissures, and, you know, URLs, etc. And there's also, is, Curator is also going to detect that the guy actually created a phony process. In the Windows logs that goes into Curator also help in the detection. But in short, Curator is going to detect a phishing case. Let's actually take a look at that uh, phishing offense in Curator screen. And here's that offense, offense uh, 234, that we're going to be seeing later. And let's take a look at the actual events that were part of this offense. So in here, we obviously see the, 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 the bad IP, that 87 IP, the local IP in here. Edgar Johnson, which is my good friend, helped me with the sore part um, in here. And we can even see more details in this uh, process creation. We see a host name, we see some hashes and some different components. So all this telemetry that Curator deals so well with uh, help us detect that offense. But that offense was actually already, I already sent it to SOAR. And that's the UAX component. Let's actually go into that window and see what's happening in there. So. We wouldn't even have to be watching the Curator console, by the way. I just show it for completeness. With this modern looking UI, I'm going to go here and I'm not going to be able today to go into all these sections, but it's pretty, pretty compelling. I'll, more videos will come and I will be covering those uh, later. But if we go into the cases, because we send that offense from Curator and, and the case was open. Remember that offense uh, 234? Well, it is here. Before I dive into the details of what has been found in here, let's go back to the whiteboard because there are a few things I want to explain better. So remember that the premises, we leave the data where it is, the CrowdStrike data is there, the Curator data is there, uh, but we have all these IOCs. I copy those in here, IOCs and other uh, artifacts. And are you going to be crafting searches here and there and looking for stuff? No. Because when that offense was sent to UAX and UAX opened a case, UAX did, and in this particular case was just with CrowdStrike, perform internally a stick search with all these artifacts. And the machine learning module in UAX did two things. The first thing that it did is it, it converted that stick information into something that CrowdStrike understand. Basically, it's telling CrowdStrike 
please tell me everything you know about all these IOCs. And you're going to see that a ton of data went from CrowdStrike into UAX with all that information. And in this particular case, I don't mind about egress charges because for these IOCs, give me everything that you have. That's what you want. You don't, you don't mind paying for those at that moment. What you don't want to pay for is all the stuff that you will never get to even see or use. So all that data is sent in here. And this is an example with CrowdStrike. In subsequent videos, we're going to be doing one with uh, Sentinel-1 as another EDR with Microsoft Sentinel. We're going to be doing one with uh, Chronicle. And of course, another one with Splunk, because these are all things that people have. And, and, and for example, Sentinel does a very good job with everything that is Defender this, Defender that, and, and Entra, AD, all that. Well, uh, if you were to send everything that you sent today to Curator or, 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 or all the log from CrowdStrike into Sentinel, and <laughs> you see the bill, you're going to have second thoughts about it, right? And same thing if you send it to to Google's Chronicle or, or Splunk or any other, right? So again, the premise of, of next-gen SIM is leave the data what it is, get all the flexibility and visibility, get machine learning, get AI, but don't start moving data around because that is uh, too costly, not to mention the, all the complications that that entitles. Okay, so, but back in here, that we're going to see the results of that query uh, going in there. And we are also going to see that the machine learning is going to be issuing some recommendations. And these are not weird recommendations coming out of his wisdom that you don't know. No, you'll see that all these recommendations are based on the actual data that was involved in this particular case. So now we can dive in into the um, UAX UI, right? We see here, you know, uh, some, some case detail, the miter, more on, on those playbooks later. But let me dive in into the piece I like the most, which is Threat Investigator. What this component is showing me here is the results of those queries being done to crash strike. And as you can see, there were like, what, if I remember correctly, 18 events in, in Curator only. But look at what it was able to get because it did an, also a stick and a stick uh, search in back into Curator and see Curator. That was the data that was in the fence. Give me everything that you know about these IOCs. So we see that there are some components from CrowdStrike, lots of data from CrowdStrike, some from Curator. Again, far more than the 18 events that we that we actually have, we actually got right. So all sort of good data. And, and again, I don't mind having all that data for this particular incident. Uh, we can even see here the recommended actions, you know, add that file hash to the, to the night list. There are other hashes in here. There is a quarantine, uh, this system, right? So, you know, that, that's very good. Uh, other other hashes to be added so lot, lots of good recommendations again you don't have to do that that investigation it's already the ml built the searches brought all that data and it's giving you the recommendations so you can resolve this uh, incident in the fastest way possible and we can even go deeper down here into the evidence and we see those artifacts that they were investigated virus total, X-Force, and, you know, again, why do you want to be doing copy-pasting and searching for this, searching for that? No, you got all that data right there. And after uh, you have done your investigation, and in fact, we can even see the the investigation that were done into the, into the X-Force and, and, and other ways of looking at the data. If you don't like to see the data, you know, in this type of uh, log sequence with but notice it's enhanced i mean this this red thing is again the machine learning saying this is critical this is bad that that sha that hash is really not good well you can actually see that in this timeline which is very very 
pleasant to the eyes to see the sequence of events, how they, they took place. If you are interested in miters, what tactics and techniques were involved, we can see them in here. The network diagram is going to be pretty damn simple in this case, because this is that malicious IP that we saw before, and this is the host that the thing went there. And in here we can see some of the connectors, data connectors that, that uh, that UAX went to look information for. This my this is my curator, Jose's curator, uh, the, that, and it retrieved, you know, uh, 50 results, even though there were only 18 events, but there was more data that was not part of the offense because it was not indexed, it was not gathered. Uh, again, I want I want it all. I want all that stuff uh, from there. And 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 the, the, the CrowdStrike piece. But this is not just for investigation, this is for resolution, this is a SOAR platform. Remember that we, we, we send this to SOAR, right? Now, what we can see, let's, let me scroll down here and see that there are some playbooks that were, again, automatically assigned given the nature of the things that were found in here. And we see that all these things, some searches on virus total that we, we saw there, and there are other tasks that uh, needs to be performed. I'll show you those later. Uh, but I just wanted to visually show you the playbooks, and, and these actually are, are created with a graphic editor that is very pleasant, again, uh, to actually do that. And for you to close this, uh, this particular investigation, you will need to perform some of those tasks from those playbooks. Here you see the actual task. And you can click on any one of them, and again, and, and, and perform the actions and then click uh, in here when, when, when finished. And after you've done that, all this is well documented, uh, uh, you know, so, so you can uh, report to do executive report, do management report, do technical report with more, more level of data about that incident. So going back to the whiteboard, maybe blackboard is a better term here, we see that leaving all the CrowdStrike data, what is being gathered, leaving Curator doing what it does so well, and other systems, like the one that we will show in subsequent videos in here, is the next-gen strategy. And, and, the, and the beauty of UAX, among many things, is that capability of translating from stick, from all the incidents, whoever is the one that reported first, to have the, the, that stick being converted into things, like for example, in Sentinel would be KQL, in Splunk would be SPL, uh, Chronicle has a different format. You know? so, so it's gonna be doing that conversion to gather all that telemetry, bring it to you in a single good looking UI that you can make sense of everything that is, that is going on and follow the playbook to the complete resolution of it. That's the strategy on next uh, gen. And sorry I, I went above the 10 minute mark that I like to keep all my videos with, but on the subsequent ones we're going to be seeing the same example done with, you know, with my demo system. Uh, and my friend Edgar Johnson is already setting up the, the Sentinel-1 and uh, the, the Microsoft Sentinel and Splunk system for us to bring to you the next gen conversation with those uh, entities because there are some people that have some stuff, some of that stuff, and it's working well for them. So what are you going to rip it and, and end up paying more and, and even probably getting even less visibility? Again, leave the data where it is, get the most flexibility uh, in your investigation. That is uh, the conversation on next-gen SIM.